Chili on What Chili Wants. I really enjoy getting to know Raphael. You like him? I do. I you like, like him. him. Go ahead, Raphael. Check this out. This might be Raphael. I don't know. Her legs all around him. How are you going to do that? I'm in town to hang out with you. Right. Who the hell was that? That's not Chili. And you know what that I gave him an honesty bracelet. One of my friends saw you riding your bike with a girl yesterday. That's true. At that moment with Raphael, I knew it was the end. I'm glad you wanted to come really back. Nice to see you too. I really like Scott a lot. Are you ready for that type of commitment? Yes. Right now, Scott is still in the picture. But for right now, we gotta hold on because one guy ain't enough. Enter Lasse, the Swedish mob. Hi there, Chili. Lasse. Ooh. I wanna meet Lasse. Raphael is gone, and Chili seems to be liking Scott, but I don't want to take any chances. This is the type of girl that would get rid of a man because he didn't compliment her fast enough. In a few days, I'm going to take Chili back to my hometown, New York City, where Lasse, a super fine Swedish model, is waiting for her. She's excited. I'm excited. Let's do this. I was born to be famous. I was born to be famous. Before I go to New York, I'm booked to do the Steve Harvey Morning Show. He has two best-selling relationship books, and I have a sneaky suspicion that we're going to get into it a bit. Please welcome to the show, Miss Rosanda Chili Thomas. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Thank you. The name of the show is What Chili Wants. Mm -hmm. But we commonly refer to the show as What Chili Won't. <laughs> <laughs> no answer. And, and next year is going to be What Now Chili. <laughs> what are you looking for in a man? I definitely want a guy who's a Christian, who loves and adores kids, who is very honest and romantic and sweet, gorgeous and super fun, and who can cook. He can't smoke cigarettes. I really don't want him to drink at all, but if he did, I would compromise a little bit. <laughs> oh, see, I see your problem right now. See, what Chili want is too, too damn much. Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> but you know, is there anybody on showing promise? Anybody that's in the category, you know, I'm just asking. Um, Hello. Is it on? You, you, I, come on, come, come on, Chuck. You're doing a lot of him and hard. <laughs> yeah, someone's catching my eye. Okay, who? But it's somebody else that I'm, I'm really interested in meeting. I haven't met him yet. So. <laughs> you got a guy, but you, you want to hold out for this other guy. Because I think the other guy may have a little bit more than, you know, this one. Why are you looking like that? Don't let me come over there. I'll take these headphones off. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying to you is, you're gonna have to release something. You do that, you open up a little more space, because by focusing... Open. No, yes, no. Yes, I am. I disagree. I don't. But then, you know, you, you on the TV show. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, now. What well, Chili won't? <laughs> Steve Harvey is not the first to tell me that I need to open up more and ease up on my checklist. But for me, it's not an either or. I am opening up, but I am not going to lower my standards. Thank you, Chili. <laughs> We've loved having you on today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Tiana are leaving for New York early tomorrow, and before I leave, I wanted to spend some time with my son, Tron. So I called my sister, T-Boz, and we decided to meet up at the park with our kids. Hey. Hey. Cozied up. Hold on. I have a lot going on right now, so it always feels good to be able to talk to an old friend. Look at the baby. <laughs> it's a little fat lady. Well, you know what? I don't like that they're growing so fast. I can't believe Tron is 13. And Chase, double digits? Are you serious? I know. And you remember when they were that size? Yeah, I miss those days. You think you want to have another baby, too? Yeah, I for do. Sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Are you sure, you sure, you sure? Yeah, I do. I really, I want a boy. And I want a girl. But I feel like I'm getting too old, though. <laughs> so, look, I went to the OBGYN, right? Just a regular pap. 
so I have him start talking to the doctor about, you know, the cut off and all this kind of stuff. And he was giving me all these options of, you, you know, you can freeze the egg. I know, my doctor told Are me Are you that. excited about that? That just seems so... I mean, I'm gonna steal my egg, though. I Look, know. But before I run out of eggs, yes, I will. I got three years. I done gave myself a time limit. I said 38. 38 came. Okay, 40. I'm 40 now. <laughs> so then I said, okay, last absolute number has to be 43, or the baby has to be in there at 43, popping out by 44. Okay. But if not, I'll adopt, which I started looking into already. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's the trip. So you really looking into it seriously? Yeah, because, I mean, it's, it's cool. You get the baby. The baby's already cute to see what it look like. You ain't got to get fat. You know what I'm saying? I was surprised when T-Boss told me she wanted to adopt. I mean, I thought I knew everything about my sister, but obviously I don't. The fact that she is open to egg freezing and adoption kind of makes me wonder if I should be a little more open to alternatives. I've been so dead set on meeting a man, falling in love, and having a baby the traditional way. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I know I'm a strong person, you know, but at the same time, are we gonna be chilling at the house alone? What? You know how they say you're supposed to speak it into existence, mm -hmm. so we're gonna say we're both gonna be happy. We are. We're gonna be happy. And I'm, I'm gonna have a boy, you're gonna have a girl. We're gonna have babies. And we're gonna have good husbands. Good husbands. Not baby no, daddies, no. but husbands. Extraordinary. Extra extraordinary husbands. Husbands, yes. Yeah. It's gonna happen. I don't have time to play around. If I want to have a baby the traditional way, I have got to get out there and find my husband. And along those lines, I am so excited to go to New York and meet Lasse. Coming up. Lasse and I definitely had chemistry. It felt like it was just the two of us. Do you want kids? I'm in the sky. That's right, I'm living life. Taking trips out of we're in New York because it's time for Chili to meet Lasse, the international model that Chili has been dying to date. I want to meet Lasse. <laughs> I love Atlanta, but for real, y'all, there's no place like home. I want to thank you for coming with me because I got so much ish to do for this wedding. It's just ridiculous. And you're going to see Lasse tonight. No, you don't understand how excited I am to see Lasse. Why? Well, you know, he seems cute. so, not just because he's cute, I don't know. He just really? popped on really? the screen when I saw him, so I'm like, okay, is he really going to be like this in person? Right. I don't have the butterflies. I th I'll probably get him, like, right before I see him. I can't believe you're, like, nervous, kind of. Kind of, sort of, because, you know, his interview that you did with him? Yeah. Like, that was almost, like, too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> do some prep for my wedding. So today, Chili is coming with me to go cake tasting with my mom, my sister, and my man, Gaspar. Hi, baby. <laughs> All right, so Gaspar. Yeah, how you doing? Good to see you. The main reason I'm marrying Gaspar is he's just a good person. Like, his heart is as big as the Eiffel Tower. He loves me even though I talk too much sometimes, and I just love him to pieces with his little self. I just love him. All right, let's see. What's up? We're going to Cake Man Raven. If you don't know nothing about Cake Man Raven, you don't know nothing about Brooklyn. He has the best cakes in the world. Hello, Mr. Cake Man. Hey, how you doing? Very honored to be here. So I had to come here and taste some of these cakes, even though I'm on a diet. So let me know what's up. <laughs> mm. I love this. I just want the coconut. <laughs> Introducing her to his name is Lasse. He loves black women. That's all he dates is black women. And he's tall and Swedish and tall. He's another white one. Oh, we want to do something. She's prejudiced. I'm not prejudiced. Uh, will you stop? You need to get someone that you are attracted to, mm -hmm. and you have something in common with. Exactly. So you you don't have to settle. Thank you. I don't even listen to her. She hasn't been single since the '70s. I don't listen to her. I'm just yeah. I mean I'm. Attracted to him, but I'm really interested She's to know if women that inside. like to look at you. You gotta be attractive first yeah. for her to So what about if you notice the beauty on the inside first before you notice the attraction outside? I'm just saying when you see somebody, that's that's so, that's what you see first. How did you feel when you saw Tiana? All you saw was these big old. <laughs> I mean, she's beautiful, a person overall. But when you saw her still, it was like, wow, I mean, something, right. it caught your, yeah, it caught your eyes. You have a glow, but a glow can mean just your spirit, 
Mm, you tell him, baby. You know. I like Gaspar. He's a, you better marry this man. He's a smart guy. Yeah, you know, I do. <laughs> I was noticing every time Tiana would talk, the way he looks at her, so much love and admiration. That is how a man is supposed to look at a woman. Anyway, last say guess where you live at? Brooklyn. Oh, he lives in Brooklyn? Yeah, he lives in Brooklyn. Oh. Okay, you got to play him with her hair right now. Uh, So you would say, like, I'm, I'm your type of guy? I've known you for a while now. I never saw you be nervous. Why over a guy either? Oh, my God.